Hello, welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. My name is Tim. I'm from Big Timber, Montana, from the Yellowstone Trout Hatchery. And today we are stocking fish in the Montana wild fish tank. We are so excited to have two native Montana fish species in our cold water tanks here at Montana Wild. Tim brought us Arctic grayling and Yellowstone cutthroat trout. Now, Arctic grayling are a truly unique Montana species. The only populations native to the lower 48 states were in Michigan and Montana, and the Michigan population is now extinct. The last truly native river-dwelling grayling in the state is the population that lives in the upper Big Hole River. You can fish for the genetically different but still beautiful lake-dwelling grayling in many lakes in the western part of Montana. If you live here in Helena, you can even catch one right up at Park Lake, and you'll know you've caught a grayling because they have a beautiful sail-like dorsal fin. We also got three native Yellowstone cutthroat trout, our state fish. This species is one of two subspecies of cutthroat in the state of Montana, the other being the West Slope cutthroat trout. They get the name cutthroat from the red slash marks under their jaw. This species is native to the Yellowstone River drainages in southwestern and south central Montana. The Yellowstone cutthroat you can now see in our tank are pure native cutthroats that were raised in the big timber hatchery where Tim is based. These Yellowstone cutthroats in here are 100% native and they were taken from a lake and they are the ones that are bred at our hatchery every year so we can outplant um, a certain number of cutthroats in the mountain lakes uh, via helicopter every year. They don't outplant any of these hatchery cutthroats in the Yellowstone because they have a, a wild sustained uh, breeding population in the Yellowstone. Both the Arctic grayling and the Yellowstone cutthroat are species of concern here in Montana because of declining population numbers and habitat. They're both really unique species with an amazing history and legacy in our state, and I hope you'll come down and see them for yourself.